All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Mr. G's lab. So we are going to be working on polyatomic ions and naming them. So polyatomic ions are a fancy name of two nonmetals coming together to form and to form another set of nonmetal elements. The all of them are negative. Uh, have a negative ionic charge except for ammonium ammonium and a few obscure ones but for our purposes right now ammonium has a positive charge um, so we would name the polyatomic second unless it was ammonium let's say that we had ammonium uh, okay where is this Ammonium has a positive charge, so we would label, let's say, something ammonium, ammonium, uh, let's do acetate, which is here, and it's negative. So ammonium has a positive charge, and acetate would have a negative charge, so we would just label it ammonium acetate. And if we were to work on uh, our problem sets, let's go with number. Uh, let's go with number seven. So we label the element with the element here is. So we would label the aluminum. So it would be aluminum. Um, and then we would find CN, and so we would switch over to our polyatomic ion chart. CN, find CN here, and it is, CN would be right here. And if you notice, uh, most of these are in alphabetical order um, by name. Uh, but they're gr mostly grouped together. So CNS, CNS, uh, CN is cyanide. So aluminum cyanide. Would be the CN. We don't have to label any charges. It's just aluminum cyanide. We don't have to even have to change the name of the anion. The cation. So the cation is the metal. And the ca um and the only way that I could remember this uh it's positive and so I draw a cat eye. A very bad cat eye, but a cat eye nonetheless. Um and then uh the anion would be the non-metal, and that would be the cyanide. Um, the anion would be the non-metal. And that would be the negative charge. And uh, the only way I could remember that was kind of making my derp um, symbol. Um, and let's see. So aluminum cyanide. So let's say down here, you're given um, uh, naming the formulas for word problems. So lithium, lithium has a lithium is Li. It is n the its charge is negative or negative one. Um, and then hydroxide on our uh, Hydroxide would be, where is hydroxide? Oh, hydroxide's on the left-hand side. And hydroxide would be on the left-hand column. The OH, it has a negative one charge. And we go back to our worksheet. And hydroxide would be, O H, it O H, it too has a negative. Um, oh, the lithium actually has a positive. 
positive one, and the OH would have a negative or negative one. And since they're both the same, we would just write LiOH. But on the other elements, uh, such as uh, aluminum perchlorate, aluminum is going to have a plus three charge, and you're going to have to find out what perchlorate is. But perchlorate would have uh, elemental, so it's ClO4, and you have to find out the charge on it. And remember then to crisscross. So, and when you put this over, the ClO4 is going to be in parentheses because the three has to account. The three has to account for the. Uh, uh, the elements uh, in all in the parentheses so and then also remember that this goes over here so I uh, hope that was helpful and if you need help you know you can call me or email me or text me uh, if you are not in my class you're welcome to leave a comment below and I will respond back as quickly as I can thanks a lot have a sweet day